Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Uh, pulling season's in full swing, and y'all know I'm fairly regimented about uh, servicing Plan B here uh, between the poles. Uh, I've been I've been slacking. Uh, it's got uh, four or five hooks on it. Um, I usually like to do it after like two or three, uh, just because of the methanol that gets in the crankcase. So um, yeah, um, we're gonna service plan B and get them ready for the week pull this weekend. So y'all sit back, relax, and uh, hang out, and uh, I'll be working. Hopefully you'll be watching, so let's do this. Like I said, we're going to service plan B today. So, first thing I need to do is put the side cover off here. Because we're going to do, uh, we're going to do spark plugs too. So, but, uh, we're going to get the, uh, Mighty Vac hooked up here. And I, I pull mine out through the, through the dipstick. So, uh, that's just the easiest way I've found to do it. Uh. I need to cut a hole in the frame down where the drain plug's at, but uh, this Mighty Vac works great. So, all right, get the end of the air hose here. Now, this thing's probably going to make a lot of noise. You may not be able to hear what I'm saying, but uh, hopefully you can. It takes a few seconds to get the vacuum pulled and also helps you tighten the, the jug on. I gotta make sure I put the uh, gasket up in there. Yep, gasket's in there. I've learned not to tighten that on when I'm storing it. Uh, it crushes the O-ring gasket that's up in there. So, all right, now let's try this again. There it goes. kicked on so you couldn't hear a thing so I went ahead and changed the spark plugs on it which is just I mean super simple uh, to get all the oil vacked out so we're going to stick a little piece of cardboard up in there turn the steering wheel just a hair 
get my drain clean out here. I've got my uh, oil footer wrench. I know it's not that tight, it's just my arthritis. Sometimes won't let me uh, grip it tight enough to pull it off. So, all right, there's our old uh, oil filter off. And our new one here. And of course, this is the uh, the Napa uh, oil filter. It's the uh, 1056 variety, and uh, they're made by Wix. They use the Napa Golds. So there we go. Hang on. German torque, good and top. So, all right. Next thing is to uh, dump our Schaefer's oil in there, and uh, we uh, we're pre pre serviced or pre pull serviced for the most part. So, I'm gonna move the camera around to the other side, and uh, we'll get the oil dumped in her. All right, y'all. We're gonna try to do this funnelless. Hopefully, it works out for me. And of course, we are using the uh, Schaefer's, you know, the uh, racing oil, SAE 30, with extra zinc, just because, you know, these motors need that extra zinc. And it's a fairly good oil for the, or really good oil for the methanol, so. I've been using Schaefer's oil for, oh, going on over 20 years now. Use it my daily job. Use it here. And uh, I've been using it for, well, ever since I've been pulling. Uh, when I switched over to methanol, I started using this stuff here. And I have yet to have an engine failure. do the oil so hopefully we can continue that and I have done had oil analysts done on these engines uh, back when I was running race gas and the other tractors and my original v-twin and after I've had the methanol and uh, they come back you know well except for the methanol uh, come back you know clean as possible so uh, very little wear uh, no metals so I'm a I'm a believer in the Schaefer's oil y'all not saying that I wouldn't uh, consider another brand if they want to sponsor because uh, Schaefer's is not a sponsor I buy this and it's uh, it's up to like I think 13 or 14 dollars a quart now and I'm, I'm spilling a little bit down the sides of course but we'll get a towel and wipe that up no big deal so, I put two full quarts in we might be a little high on the stick but a little high is fine so, all right. Uh, I'm gonna find a rag and uh, get this wiped up. We'll bring you guys right back. All right, y'all. I'll make a couple rags here. So, get that all wiped off. Wiped around the threads. All down the sides. I know this don't make for very good watching, but part of what has to be done for the poles. And so I figured I'd bring you all along, show you what you know what we go through. So the uh, oil change alone on this, uh, like I said, we do it every. I do it every. I don't like to go more than four hooks. Um, most of the time, it's after every pole. Uh, 
depending on how hot it was running and stuff. Uh, which they don't run real hot, but if it's a hot day out, you know, uh, hot, humid day, the methanol does absorb a lot of, uh, a lot of water. And that, you know, when it gets down into the crankcase, then it, you know, you got moisture in your crankcase. And we don't run them long enough or hot enough to uh, get that water to boil out. So, you know, we have to, we have to do the oil changes on them, so. All right, um, got the oil done, got the oil filter on. Oh, uh, getting back to the, uh, the oil change, just the oil change alone. Um, like I said, it's, I think it's $14 a quart now. And I know the oil filters are right around $10 a piece now. Uh, might be a little, might be a little less, but I'm not positive. Um, I'd have to go back and look because I, I buy them in bulk. I buy them like a half a dozen at a time. Um, but, uh, so, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're over 30, 35 bucks, you know, we're around $35 just for the oil change. Uh, I know the spark plugs were like $7 a piece, 14. So, uh, you know, we're, we're almost 50 bucks and just, just a service on this thing. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, I don't change the spark plugs every time around, but, you know, I do change them two or three times a year. Um, or a season, I should say. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna check the oil level in it, uh, and then uh, we'll do a do a fire up. So, hang on. All right, y'all. Uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna fire it up. I did pull the, or ground the coils. Uh, turn it over until I got good oil pressure. Checked it. We're up on, you know, right where we need to be for the oil pressure. So, uh, yeah, we're going to turn the fuel pump on. Prime the system. And contact. Oops, make sure she's not in gear. You heard that the uh, heard the RPMs pick up. Uh, I shut the fuel off to it and run the uh, carburetor out of fuel. Now there's not really any fuel sitting in there, just uh, laying around. But uh, yeah, we'll pull the uh, dipstick and uh, check the uh, oil level one last time after we let the oil, you know, drop back down to the crankcase. And uh, we uh, we actually had really good oil pressure. So. All right, time for the next thing. All right, y'all, last thing I like to do is uh, go over the lug nuts, make sure everything's all tight.
All right. I'm going to do the other side. spec two good and top so all right um only thing we have left to do before we go to the poles fill the fuel tank up full of fuel and then uh charge the battery which i do that the night before put on trickle charge charges it up overnight because there is no charging system on here have but the only thing the battery does is start the tractor so it's never really low so all right That'll do it for the service of this thing. All right, y'all. Uh, there's kind of a quick run through. Uh, not really a quick run through. It's what I do uh, in between the pulls to make sure we get uh, Plan B ready and he keeps pulling good. Uh, the only other thing I did find, uh, found it off camera, was the uh, throttle. Uh, wasn't going to full throttle. Uh, wasn't opening the butterfly up all the way. Uh, so I just I. Just did a little cable adjustment. Um, we got it going, you know, full throttle now. Um, did it make a difference? Probably. Um, probably weren't getting full RPM, but uh, we should be doing now. So uh, that's going to do it. Um, hope you guys like this. Um, uh, like I said, it's what what I what I do in between the pulls, you know, just normal maintenance. Um, tuning you know stuff like that so uh if you want to keep improving keep getting better it's just part of what you got to do so appreciate y'all watching hanging out with me in the garage while i get ready to go to the pools uh we got a pool coming up this weekend uh so uh, yeah this this coming weekend uh down in holloway ohio uh by the time you guys see this we will probably be there so if you're uh, down and around that area, uh, stop by and say hi. You know, shake my hand, uh, check out the tractor poles. Um, if you're a puller and you're close, stop in. Uh, we got classes for everybody. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, if you are a club or belong to a club or pull with a club that uh, is within roughly, say, two hours of Canton, Ohio. Uh, Hit me up. Find me on Facebook uh, or shoot me an email. Uh, the email is on the homepage of the channel. Uh, tell me where it's at. Tell me what, you know, maybe a set of rules, classes. Um, I always like going other places and pull. Uh, and now we got the little blue truck uh, running great. Uh, we can we can travel. Uh, and I, I'm comfortable up to two, two and a half. Um, but, uh, you know, let's, let's keep it right there for now. But, uh, yeah, so, all right, I'm rambling, so I'm going to get off here, uh, go eat some dinner, and then uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, ring that little bell, get all the notifications. See you on the next one.